Hello gamers, for those only interested in the Trinova gameplay, it's a pretty clean game against Urgot in High Masters MMR, so hope you enjoy it. And for the others who've been following my work, well, just to tell you that I am back, I am back stronger than ever, and at the end of the game, I give context about what has happened during these last few weeks and what's gonna happen from now. So yeah, hope you will enjoy the news, I will see you at the end of it. Hope you enjoy the video, much love. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I wanted to play on main account, but I had to dodge already. I'm dodging so much, man. Uh, so I'm playing on the second one, which is at a pretty decent MMR still. Um, Brenda, me, that's a pretty good combo into Real Ash. Uh, can Real actually close distance into Brenda, me? I'm, I'm a bit concerned about bot lane, not gonna lie. Uh, let's look at junglers. Can they impact it? I guess Karner can. And Zin Zhao can as well. I mean, the thing is, they don't have mobility, both of them, so on a good real flash. Like, it's not playable. We can look to play bot. We can look to play bot. The thing is, their mid laner... I mean, I was gonna say he can look for rooms, but I don't think he's gonna ever have the prior into way. So it's gonna cost him if he looks for rotations on the map. But, I mean, I think he's fine with it. That's how Celes wants to play. So, yeah, we need to be careful about Silas playing with Scarlet and making plays on the map. It can be very dangerous on me on bot lane. But as I said, I think we have mid prio. I think this should be a decently easy matchup for Wei. And Zinza can look to impact top and can look to impact mid and can look to impact bot. Yeah, it's an early game jungler that can have a pretty decent impact here. So, I think he's going to be really important in that game. Me playing against Urgot, he has fleet. Um, yeah, I basically want to be careful about his E gauge. As long as you're careful about it, you should be fine. You hate stream the mirror? Well, <laughs> you're not gonna like this stream then. Or any of my content. Because I just, like, that's, that's all I do. I do stream the mirror. All day. I guess not all day. When I'm not playing, I'm coaching. Not on the Mirror, you know. Oh, and now that I'm back, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, we need to play around his uh, legs. Passive. Okay, I, I think I can I can react with E. I, I think I don't have to do uh, dash up preemptively. Yeah, like that. I mean, that was kind of preemptive, not gonna lie. Okay, let's get our level two, and then we can out sustain. That was a good trade, even if it doesn't look like it. See, it's both CS. Uh, let me drop a pot. There's a chance that... Okay, I see Skarner. I was concerned about a potential dive. Okay, as you said, since I can gank pretty much every lane. Oh, he should base here. It's really good for me if he doesn't base. Because now look at the HP diff. Now I'm the one winning in HP. Still playing with Ignite, right? And I can even look to get a 4 first, maybe? Nope. I have it. I should have queued though. That was a mistake. Well, I'm getting his flash here and maybe his life as well. I guess just flash and TP. That's really good. Yeah, I should have base after crushing wave 3. Good for me. Let's take a save base so he doesn't cancel. Ping it. Flash TP. 
I think tier 1 boot song sword is best here. So I match his movement speeds and then I have well some damage. Okay, that's a really good start. Uh bot lane killed 2v2. My mid laner has TP, so he's not gonna lose much from that. With his corner on top scuttle. Uh I can actually drop a ward here. Because there is a chance that after top scuttle, Skarner is going to look to invade top because he's going to see Zin Zhao with Zin Zhao ganks. There is a chance that Zin Zhao doesn't gank. Yeah, I knew that Skarner was coming. Oh shit, he cancelled my... Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's that's really stupid. Okay, I know where Skarner is and know that he can come. But I really didn't think he would cancel my E like that. Okay, lesson learned. Yeah, that's why you put that ward, exactly where you put it. Okay, let's bring my mid laner back. And maybe look to get six here before him. An enemy has been slain. Okay, I crit so much. I crit so much here. That was really lucky. But even if I don't crit, I still end up killing him. I'm gonna push fast. I wanna get this. I'm gonna get my plate. And then reset towards scrubs, I'd say. I don't wanna do too much damage to the turret because I don't want the second plate to fall. Okay, so far so good. Casta buys, he's gonna run faster than me, but I'm gonna win short trades. This is Garner. Say let's just cancel Zin. I don't oh shit. I don't wanna move and lose. That was really good by Silas. Cancelling my Zin Zhao. Yeah, we're not playing Drake, it's fine. Even if it's a really good Drake. We cannot, we cannot. It's okay to give. Okay, he's here. I'm not killing him here. I'm just taking a big chunk. Oh, that's so good that he ulted, even. Yeah, I was not committing on that. I just wanted to take a big chunk on his HP bar. His incoming is really good, he needs to come fast. Yeah, next wave. Not actually basing, he didn't have to show. Okay. Pretty good. I'm gonna base because after Drake there's a big chance that Skarner based and now he's uh he's in his top camps. So I'm not gonna take that risk. Losing tempo. Nice. Um, so, we have really good uh, jungler, I mean, refed jungler, this is item already, I'm winning top, or winning mid, but is actually winning, so far so good.
The wave is pushing to me, Skarner made me top, so I'm gonna respect that. Yeah, we should respect it as well. Should be hovering bot side here. I'm gonna chill for a bit with my ult. I shouldn't have let that wave get under turret. Okay, Skarner was in bot and died. I don't know Ergot's um, ult CD. If anyone has it in the chat, it'd be much appreciated. If not, I will look at it after this game. Taking really good chunks. Okay, I'm not gonna get Pryo now, I will get it for grubs and try to deny this wave to Argot and push on the next one. Okay, he based the DTP though. Not sure about the TP. I'm not gonna do too much because my team is not there yet and we saw Brent not long ago uh, around mid. I mean, he's still mid, but we don't know where Silas is. If Silas didn't go bot, it means that well, he stopped basically. Well, I guess this Urgot is panicking. Completely panic. Panicked. Now I can get two plates, help on grabs if needed. Well, I guess their bot lane is basing. Proxy this, get a really good base. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose the turret. No, I'm not losing it. Mm -hmm. About pink ward, probably. Hey, coach and Shadow is gonna have all have a good beginning of the week. Thank you so much, Silver Knights. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, mate. Okay, well, we're absolutely stomping this Urgots. We have Hydra now. We can play off sustain. We're gonna play around waves. We have some good vision. I don't think I'm in any kind of danger. Next objective is Drake. I think a good plan right now would be crashing, getting turret, pushing even more, and then uh, looking to over mid to have my team on Drake. I don't want to use my Demolish yet. Maybe I should have told my team that I can help them, but... A bit later, you know, after the objective. Okay, well, the reason why I didn't want to use Demolish is... Because now I can... Use it mid. Okay, let me go back top, defend it. I think on this time our bot lane should go mid, we should go top and I should go bot, but... You know, it's solo queue, it's gonna be really hard to make them understand that. Might as well go top and be there for... This way. Ah, 
I should have queued. Why did I queue? I didn't need to queue. Yeah, it's not really doing dealing damage to me. I think we can go straight to this. Just dropping some vision. I think I should take it. Thank you. No, 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 no. It's me. Okay. It's really good at aim bot with Herald because now I can open up bot turrets. And opening up bot turrets is gonna open bot inhib and bot inhib opens up Nash. And that's that's the whole plan. Okay. We see them. As far as them. I think I can I can probably Herald. I ulted. I fat fingered that. I'm not sure what Zin is doing. How oh, did he end up here? Did he kill Nami? I don't know. My bad. I, I fat fingered ult. I needed to ult uh, when Urgot ults me. I really don't get why we fought so hard though. Like the, the goal was just to get mid turret. We either get T3 bot or we get mid turret, basically. The assignment is really good, though. Oh, yeah, Ash, Ash shouldn't be side. Yeah, this I agree. But me being bot was the best. I know he's most likely in the bush, so. I'm going now. He's gonna get some help. It was a bad word. Of course, he can defend it. Should I base now? I think I should. Ash wants to base. Rail's basing. I think I can afford to go this. About that red trinket. Okay. I can be there for Drake. I'm strong. Drop down the ward here. Ping there. What's the issue? Does he ping me? Yeah, we just play Drake. I need to be careful that no one's trapping. Okay, I think I should be fine healing on this wave. Yeah, we need to not die.
That's really good that you trade kills. enough. This pressure bot gave us a turret here. Now I'm not gonna greet this wave. Keep good tempo. Really nice. So far, so good. Let's go back bot. No one can stop me. Pretty strong. I will be even stronger and way stronger when I have AE. So if you cannot make anything happen from that bot play. Then I should just wait for AE and buy it. Maybe I can actually play with my team. I think we win 5v5s at this point. I mean, it depends if Brand gets good ultimate or not. I'd like Brent, uh, Zin to take this. Because Brent's alive. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna defend it. Okay, he's bot. Just to be sure, you know, that's the only way we can lose it. Okay, Brent flashed. Nami flashed. Me, mid for top. Is the best. Okay, since I will his shit. Yeah, we're playing on next wave, I guess. Ash arrow. In on it, I guess. Okay, but don't forget top wave. collapse I'll just play the next break I guess well if you get Silas he's not gonna be there for Drake he might be yeah in the pit yeah, I had to cut his way out Oh, yeah. Catch this guy as well. Yeah, we go both. It's not bad. Don't have a shutdown. So you don't really trust you with anything. 
There's no point in pushing top, they're gonna be there to defend. Yes, yeah, all bot after, plus he has TP. Bonsoir Zozo. He's back. Yes, I am. Hey, yeah. No, but go bot! She mid. Yeah, no, imagine my ADC was there. What the fuck? I guess we need to wait Nash now. I don't know if we want to fight this. Okay, we want. We want to. That was a pretty clean game. That was a pretty clean game. Nice. Okay. You guys might know me, you might not. But for those who know me, you know that I like the extremes. I like to go all in on something or, or something else. And that's why I didn't stream for the last two or three weeks. Because I was completely all in on just playing on my side, grinding, trying to get this shell. And good things have actually happened. Uh, I do not get challenger, but I have a GM Chell MMR in the other account, which we're gonna go on for our next game, by the way. Um, it depends, like one out of two games have really, 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 really high MMR game. I got GM back this season, which is really good. So now I don't have to say that I'm S13 GM, actually S14 GM, uh, at least speaker. Uh, but I had to dodge so much that they lost so many, so many LP. So the other account is at 350 LP, but they do plus 23, 24, minus 17 to 18, etc. So it's a pretty good MMR. And I decided that, I mean, of course, I knew it, this approach was not the best to go wholly, like, fully, fully, um, like just playing solo queue, you know, all day. I knew it was not the best approach. And for those who follow my work as well, like you know that in the past I've been doing a performance coaching with my performance coach Frappy, and I had the close to um, um, an athlete's life, I'd say. Yeah, my, my life was fully uh, scheduled and thought about performance or on performance. Now I decided that the thing is when I did that, I didn't create enough momentum to actually hold this, hold this rhythm uh, for the rest of my life. It was like 45 days in full performance, but 26 years before that of living normally, you know, so it was not going to erase all the habits that I had and all the um, neural connections that they had, etc., etc. So I decided that I would do something. Um, I will make myself an experiment and for a hundred days I will apply all the advice that we all know that are good for us, but we don't do them. So cutting social media, um, not like bring your phone to the toilets, you know, taking cold showers, eating healthy, going to the gym, working out, um, doing breaks before every game, every session, uh, doing warm ups like before playing this first game and starting the stream, I did five minutes of visualization, visualization or visual, yeah, I guess, um, visualizing, let's call it visualizing. I did five minutes of visualizing on top of five minutes of uh, hands warm up and then five minutes of uh, mechanical warm up going in custom uh, practice tool and, and just last hitting without items for five minutes. 
visualization solution. Yeah, exactly. This. <laughs> so before every session, I'm going to do that in between every game. I'm going to either like watch replays, watch my own gameplay. Um, I'm also going to take short breaks. What did I miss? Uh, yeah. So I was explaining that I'm now back. Oh, by the way, I'm going to stream now daily. I'm going to have a very tight schedule from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. my time. So it's uh, GMT plus 2, UTC plus 2. It's Paris time if you want to check it. Um, so I'm going to tell you the rules that I have for now. Uh, rule number one, every day starts with a cold shower. Rule number two, no highly processed food slash sugar. Rule number three, sleep schedule has to be regular. Rule number four, three workouts per week at the gym, two, uh, two hours 30 each. Rule number five, no easy excess dopamine. It means no fab, no socials. Rule number six, breaks need to be taken every two hours of work and between every single game of league. Rule number seven, League of Legends session starts with a 10 minute routine, five visualizing plus warm up. 5 skill sharpening in custom. Rule number 8. Every day needs to include meditation. Needs. With an S. Rule number 9. Lots of water needs to be drunk. Okay. If you stream until 7, I could always watch you during dinner. Um, I'm not sure if it will fit my schedule though. but Because it was either 4 to, eight, uh, to 6 or 5 to 7. Uh, no, 2 to 6 or 5 to 7. Or 3 to 7. But maybe I can do 2 to 7, actually. And um, to keep preparing, uh, besides that, I also decided to ask every, everyone around me. And it won't be only for you. It's going to be like, yeah, I just need to. Because if I do 2 to 6, my business days end at 7. So it means that uh, I would use from 6 to 7 to do some work, actually. But is it actually optimal to go from four hours of streaming, having my head like this, you know, focused on something, and then doing one hour of work on something else, and then spending time with my girlfriend? Like, is it not suboptimal? If I feel like it's suboptimal, then I will do two, uh, yeah, three to seven, probably. So we'll see. I have you running second screen anyways for the... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I will try to to also be smarter about that, and you know, and not just have, have a message, look at it, have a message, look at it, etc. Anyway, uh, also in order to prepare for that, I started asking people around me, "What's something that you know is good for you, but you don't do?" Uh, I, I I don't care about the reasons, but it's just things that you know are good for you, but you're not doing them. And this way, it could also be an experiment for the habit that you want to implement. I will implement all of them. Legit, everything that's, I mean, you know, like you have you have some time limits during the day. So I cannot do like, uh, if you tell me 30 minutes of stretching plus one hour of meditation plus 10 minutes of, you know, like eyes exercise, but 30 minutes of taking some fresh air plus, like I have 24 hours in my day and eight of them are going to be um, sleep. So I have 16 hours, basically. And then four of them are going to be spent with GF. With girlfriend. So I have 12 hours, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to do... I mean, maybe you're talking for you, but I'm not going to do them one at a time. I'm going to just do everything at the same time. Like I did the first time I did the performance coaching, but this one I'm going to add on top of it. Because when I was doing my first performance coaching, I was still jerking off sometimes, watching and like looking at social media sometimes. Uh, not taking only cold showers sometimes. I skipped some gym sessions. Now I'm like, I'm legit not going to skip anything. Yep, so that was it. These are the news. So you can find me on, on Twitch daily, as I said. On YouTube, maybe a bit less now. I will focus on making more quality content um, rather than just daily content and posting VODs every day. Uh, I will make sure to still post VODs, but also have some more edited videos. Uh, and you can also answer the question, you know, when I was asking uh, what kind of habits, you know, are good for you, but you're not doing yet. Uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe you're going to inspire me for my new daily routine. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm really hyped to be back, to be that focus, that discipline, that strong, and great things are going to happen. Have a great one. GLS Chef in gaming in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace. Much love. <laughs>